And I want you all to be encouraged. If you have an older brother and sister, like, I want you to know you don't have to stay in their shadow forever. You all can make your own decisions. And to the Young the Ball Podcast. What's going on, ballers? What's going on, ballers? What's going on, ballers? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball uh, with Jonathan Jones. And man, um, it's funny that you never realize how much of your life you spend following somebody else, right? Like, I mean, when you're young, you have people that you look up to, right? And then when you get older, if you're not careful, you will be following people so close and you never realize that this is an area that you either can tweak to create your own future, to create your own path, or, you know, I believe that there, I believe in mentors, I believe in coaches, I believe in um, role models and all that, but there comes a point in time where you have to, you have to break away a little bit just so that you have the ability and have the opportunity to where you can create your own future. And I, I, I spoke at, at this school and I, I did this, this, this speaking opportunity and I want to play the clip for you and then we're going to come back and break it down just a little bit. And I want to challenge you on not standing in anyone else's shadow. Not standing in anyone else's shadow, all right? Is your, is your, your toy's name is Shadow? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So when I was about you all's age, right, I had an older brother. I have an older brother. His name's Freddie, okay? So as we were growing up, he was like right here, because he's 17 months older than me. He was right here, and then I was like right beside him. Then six months later, I would grow taller, and then he would be shorter than me. And then we'd go back and forth just like this. And then I would always try to follow my brother's shadow. Does anybody here, just by a show of hands, anybody here have an older sibling? Okay, you can put your hands down. Anybody have a younger sibling? Okay, it's about half and half. So I would always try to do whatever he did. He started playing baseball. He was great at baseball. He could play all the positions, shortstop, second base, catcher, outfield. I tried to play baseball. I said, let me just try it out. I couldn't hit the ball ever, like ever. Like T-ball, I'm hitting the T. I'm never connecting with the ball. I don't know if any of y'all ever tried to play T-ball, but sometimes it seems like the ball moves. It really doesn't, but it seems like it does. All right, so then he started playing in band. He played the saxophone, right? Here we go. He played the horn. I said, let me try playing in band. So I signed up to play the flute. And then one night I was watching him because he had a big performance the next day. I was like, surely he's going to practice, right? What's your name? Mm -hmm. Savannah. OK, so have you ever seen somebody like get ready for a big event? Like they start preparing, they start you know, practicing, right? That's what they usually do, right? He didn't do that. So I'm watching him all night. He's watching TV. He's watching movies. I'm like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be preparing for your big event tomorrow. He didn't do any preparation at all. Don't do what my brother did, OK? Do not do what he did. And then I went to his event, and then he knocked it out the park. Like, he did a great job playing the saxophone because he was that talented. So what did I try to do? I tried to do the exact same thing. I said, surely, I'll be just fine. Had a concert the next day. What's your name, my man? Israel. Israel? Yep. Yes, sir. So, I had, so look, I had a concert the next day. I said, well, I'm going to do what he did. I'm going to watch movies. I'm going to watch TV. And then, how did I do, Israel? How did I do? I did terrible, man. I did terrible. Because I was trying to do everything he was doing. And I want you all to be encouraged. If you have an older brother or sister, like, I want you to know you don't have to stay in their shadow forever. You all can make your own decisions. And just like when we go outside and the sun is shining on us one way and we have a shadow behind us, but then the sun shifts, and then the shadow eventually moves. So I want you all also to be encouraged to know that the shadow is eventually going to move. You're going to grow out of their shadow. So the reason why I want to share that clip is as you're going through this aspect and as you're going through this 
this whole transition of separating your identity as an individual, right? As a brother, as a sister, as a student, as a son, as a daughter, and you're separating this identity from who you are as an athlete, who you are as a classmate, who you are as a friend, right? I want you not to get so caught up in the shadow of athletics. Yes, you're a very phenomenal, talented athlete. And part of my story, I, I mean, I was, I was a decent athlete, if I'm being honest. I was decent. Yeah, I played junior college ball. Yeah, I went on to finish off at a four-year university, but I was never the best on the team. Let's be clear. So I, I don't feel like I dealt with this as much as some others might. Although I want you just to realize that there's going to come a point in time to where the shadow of athletics is going to shift. And when that point in time comes, you want to make sure that you weren't so lost in the sauce that you didn't get the time to truly develop yourself as an individual, as a friend, as a partner, as a classmate, as a colleague. And you didn't begin to develop your skill sets for business, for life, for relationships, because you don't want to be somebody who is no good in any other facet than just sports than just being an athlete. And I, I'm saying that because I want to challenge you today. And if, you've, if you haven't done this before, or maybe it's, this will be the first time you're introduced to the exercise, but I want you just to sit down, take five, 10 minutes and just begin to reflect on who am I? Like, if I stop playing my sport today, then how would people see me? Right. If I walked away from the game, if I got injured, if I couldn't play anymore for whatever reason, right, grades, whatever. I want you to really assess who am I? What am I actually skilled at? And how can that benefit me long term? Because there's going to come a point in time to where you've all heard it said before to where, you know, the ball's going to stop bouncing or you can't play your sport or, you know, whatever cliche you want to put there. But I don't want you to get to that point and then have to navigate and figure it out. I want you to have a plan in place so that you won't have to be struggling, looking high, looking low, trying to navigate, trying to do all the things and all the stuff. But you can begin to do it before you can begin to further your skill set before. You can begin to build a LinkedIn profile before. You can begin to start networking, building relationships with some of these alumni before. You need them, right? You develop and cultivate a relationship with them now so that when it comes time to where, yeah, you might need an internship, but you've been talking to them all along, so you're already top of mind. That's where we want to be, all right? So family, once again, this is Jonathan Jones, and this has been another episode of Beyond the Ball where the focus is helping student athletes succeed beyond their degree. And of course, we're presented and hosted by the Speak Your Success Media Network, okay? So looking forward to hearing your thoughts, looking forward to hearing your stories, looking forward to hearing uh, what episodes can I cover or who are some people that you would like me to interview that you would want to see on the show that would add value to you and to your life. All right, until next time, family. Peace. God bless.